Good afternoon. We're trying to like will fall, fall, fall into existence <laughs> with our jackets and our yeah, baby's got a jean jacket it's, on. It's warm. <laughs> it's 65. I actually have shorts and flip-flops on with this jean jacket on. Yeah. But good afternoon. Yes, we are gonna get some pizza for dinner, hopefully. And we wanna like get back into like the pizza Fridays, but we can't this Friday. But we want pizza. So can't we're going this Friday because it's too close to well, we're doing a pasta dinner with ACS, but then it's also tomatoes mess up my stomach when it comes to running. Um, so I don't want to eat like a big meat, like a tomato y dish I'll that close to the marathon. So we're going to go tonight and then begins like nice grains and, and waters and everything. Nice fuel yeah, for you. To get ready for the big old day. the very first stuffed pizza restaurant to proof. ever exist. I want the receipts. Well, we passed, because it's become a chain. We yeah. passed one by Fulton Market before. I don't think this is the original one. I think it is. Oh, you do? I don't know. We're going to do some investigating. But I did hear that they have like sweet sauce, which is like Palermo, which is like For their our dish? fave. Yeah. It was just in like the reviews. They got uh, jalapeno poppers. Do they? Getting those. Ooh. There's also another happy that I wanted to get. It wasn't that, but maybe it was. Who said that? The ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> See, I told you. The original. And it doesn't even look like it. No pizzas being made in there. That is for sure. Hmm. I am so sorry. <laughs> it says open when I just checked on. I did try calling at four because it said like it was opening. Well. It's not open. Actually, the last time we walked past it, it didn't look open, and I thought it was kind of suspicious. And so, I was a little bit worried this was gonna happen. Frantically trying to find another place for us to eat. Well, there's I plenty of options, but Sarah really wants pizza. We're still getting deep dished, but we found a place that's actually in the opposite direction of our home, so to go past our home. It but, would've been so quick if we just went there first. Um, but we're ending the night at Wrigley. Yeah, I don't know if we said that. There's movie night outside of Wrigley that we're gonna go to, yeah. but so we're really hungry and we need a snack. So Sarah's gonna run into Crisp. Yeah, Peter went with the Eve Coast when they came here visiting one time. Prior to us living in Florida. Right, and I didn't get to go with them that day because I was at work. So I have never tried this before. It's, and I was really jealous. It's like I famous being very jealous. chicken, Chicago fried chicken. Yeah. So we're gonna get like a little snack to have on the road. Okay, we've arrived at Panino's. A <laughs> they use Curls font, so I, I do question their I credibility. In there. Well, just fine. Looks like there's just like slices over there. Yeah. Also, James hasn't been in the vlog because he's asleep in there. He skipped his daytime nap. Yeah. Like a little punk. So yeah. we're just let. Actually, this works out that like we're not like in a restaurant to break it down. So we could take the pizza to go. Yeah. Or just hang out here like a bunch of. Neighborhood kids. So I feel like that actually worked out the best way possible. I mean, for the situation, for the situation of us eating more chicken than we thought. Yeah. Not for the situation of like actually having nice. Right. Like we pizza. wanted to like go out to eat and get like a pizza. Yeah. But so yeah, we got like you could just get pizza by the slice, and it was fifteen bucks for those two. Fast food stuffed pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's good, we haven't tried it yet. It's fun coming up on Wrigley from this angle. I feel really like, never, done it this way. never, yeah. And I think that that sign behind the, the uh, whatchamacallit? Tree? 
<laughs> well, it is behind a tree, but it's on the other side of the scoreboard. It's underrated compared to like the red sign on on the other side. Who said that? What movie we're gonna go? Watch? I don't think so. Casper. I, we have, I haven't watched Casper in like six years. I don't think. I don't think I've ever watched Casper oh. in my life. Well, they're showing Casper at Gallagher Way. It's kind of funny. Gallagher Way is the little open area outside of Wrigley. Yeah. And they're working with Music Box Theater. Yeah. And on Southport. Yes. And they're like showing a movie every Wednesday for the month of October. So like right. today is Casper. Next Wednesday is live action. And I'm family. family. The weekend after is nightmare, nightmare for Christmas. That's Halloween. You are slightly off. We forgot that Ghostbusters is in between Adam's family and Nightmare Before Christmas if you live in Chicago and you're interested. All right, so they're setting up the reserved seats, those little lawn chairs, but this whole lawn they're gonna open up. We brought a blanket. They're gonna have the concessions open for drinks and snacks. Boom, Casper, the friendly ghost. James is still snoozing. And we're gonna it's eat nice. a pizza out here, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna go in there and buy two seats from Wrigley. I'm like, like I don't know if Sarah and I talked about, like we were talking about buying like retired seats mm -hmm. to put in our apartment from Wrigley. And I was on the fence, but now that we're actually gonna become season ticket holders, now I really wanna get the seats. Like you feel like you're actually like- worthy. I feel like I'm worthy of the Wrigley seats now that we're gonna become season ticket holders. We just have to make it official. All right, let's see, take a bite. We have to ch check out what happened to Nancy. Yeah. That's good. Yeah? Yeah. Is it cold? No, it's warm. It's not hot. It's good fast, fast food deep dish. I don't know if I've ever seen like deep dish by the slice. No, either. There's some cool trivia. This is the first feature film to have a fully computer generated visual effects character in a leading role. Alrighty, we are in line to get in. And we have the realization that James looks like Casper. Like same eyes, same head shape, same cheeks. I like peeked my head around the corner. I was like, there's Casper right in there. So you can rent a chair if you'd like, but there's this big lawn. And there's snacks, over and there's there. we'll snacks and drinks. James, he's got his jean jacket on. So cool. You see all the kids playing? He just woke up from his nap and he sees kids, he's ready to go. We got this blanket yesterday at Target. It's so soft. And he's got a really cool Jack Skellington shirt on that Lauren gave him. You're a cool kid. Guess what? James was staring at everybody eating their food, so we thought we should get him some pizza. <laughs> True Chicago boy. <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to check out the snacks. Sarah wants a cookie. I let the movie begin. We also are letting James play with stickers for the first time in his life. What was that spooky noise, James? Eh? What's squint? That's what I'm afraid of. You see the sticker on my head? <laughs> Sarah put James a sock, a sock on his hand and he's very confused by it. You like in the movie? I watch this movie many times. It's your sock. Classic. So for the first time, what'd you think? It was great. It's like I didn't even know anything, and so like it was just like. A cute surprise it's everything. more of like it's more funny comedy than you thought, huh? Yeah, yeah. Kind of your and like, humor. Yeah, and like not really like a true plot, just like goofiness. Happy happenings. Yeah. You like this song? You got stickers? You got stickers?
not utilized out of service. Due to upcoming marathon, please utilize the closest United States Post Office for service. Peter's gonna be running this this weekend. Goes down Broadway. In need of cookies. Ooh, but those. Oh, what do I do? I just started cleaning up. Sarah's putting James down, but I had to tell you guys something that I think we haven't told you. Where does this pumpkin go? I think it goes in front of the TV. A couple of weeks ago, I got an email, a marketing email from Masterclass that they were doing their BOGO, buy one, get one free. So I text Grant, because we've been talking about it before, and he was like, yeah, let's do it. So we got Masterclass, and if you don't have Masterclass, or I mean, maybe you do know this, because I didn't have Masterclass until a couple weeks ago, and I knew this. My favorite, one of my favorite people in the whole world, Massimo Baturo, has the Masterclass series, and so does Bob Iger. So as I'm cleaning up, I have Massimo. I just started his class. I can't wait to watch all of it, because it's like additional Massimo Netflixes just for me. Well, anybody who's a Masterclass member. But I can't wait. Come on, look at this guy. That cleans the An palate. Italian chef. And uh, you feel exactly if it, the beans are beautiful or are just okay. <laughs> well, we moved from Massimo to Stanley Tucci. But Massimo. With Massimo. Is in this episode. So we have to get James a passport. Mm -hmm. because of the cruise and that I think that's gonna force us to get the new and baby a passport we have to see when mine expires it's, a, it's been 10 years okay we'll have to look maybe it's expired so yeah we'll have to get those set and then when the new baby's born we'll have to get the new baby born and maybe fall 2022 we go abroad finally remember when we did that like we were living at like our first apartment in Florida and then it was like let's go and we're transferred. It's been fertility COVID. battles and then COVID and then moving. So let's go. Let's yeah. do it. You know who we have to visit first. I know. We're matching. We are matching. Look at these postpartum hair. Oh, get ready. It's gonna fall back out. No, it's gonna grow. Then it falls out, right? It does all the, all the things. <laughs> So I'm like really excited about just kind of a marathon and stuff. Are you? Yeah, yeah, me too. And Tomorrow's the tomorrow. last day before the events begin. Right, and today you didn't run. But tomorrow you're going to do a little run. Tomorrow I'm going to do a little run, then Friday off, Saturday, like a 10 to 15 minute shakeout. Yeah, and then Sunday's the day, tomorrow my morning. We also have a concert this month that I think we keep forgetting about because Chicago Marathon always, like, We've been like more focused on that, so guess who? <laughs> Andrew McMahon. Yeah. And we're bringing James to it too. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. Um, I don't know. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>